Hey guys, what's up? This week on ETA, we're doing a winter adventure. We're here in Whitefish, Montana. We're gonna do a little bit of snowboarding. And we're gonna build a Quincy Fort. This might be like one of the coolest camping experiences. Yep, start with your hands, start digging. <laughs> we brought shovels. We got this thing, depth gauge. You can just use a stick, but fancy stick. The snow is sticky. It's gonna be prime Quincy building material. Come on, take mad shovels. So in reality, you don't need a lot of snow to build a Quincy. Luckily we're here in Whitefish and there's like, well, we'll check. I got a little depth gauge here. It's pretty anticlimactic. 70, 70 centimeters. There you go. You don't need much snow to build a Quincy. Cool. All right, now I gotta help Matson. Dig a big hole, basically. After that, you fill the hole in up to level, and then huge hump. And then you let it sit, and the snow will sinter together. It's a word I read on the internet. I don't really know what it means. You give it about 90 minutes to two hours. Come back, and you can start digging out your cave, pretty much. So we had a nice two hour lunch break, left a shelter to harden up a bit, and now we're on to the next step. Anderson's started on the door here. Are you claustrophobic? Uh, a little bit. It's quiet in there and like a little freaky. But I trust our engineering <laughs> and our construction of this Quincy. So I'm gonna have to get over my minor claustrophobia. It's really taking shape. I think I've only been in here for like a half an hour probably. Matson's my my bitch at the door. I shovel my snow to him and he clears it out. Teamwork makes the dream work, right guys? We'll show you the completed product. We've completed our Quincy. I'm loving this way more than most people would, I think. <laughs> Anyways, it's time to go snowboarding. We got a couple visitors with us today. Jesse Tyndall, Noah Lipke. With 10 fresh inches of powder overnight, blue skies during the day, and a panoramic summit view, we couldn't have asked for better conditions. This is the craziest snow I've ever seen in my life. Shake it. Oh my lord! This is amazing! Oh, thank you. That's a good friend. Not so nice, man. Conditions were perfect and excitement was at an all time high. But a day of snowboarding in the mountains just isn't complete without a few light ups. wiped out and all I could see was his head and his goggles and his board. <laughs> Holy snow though. Come on Jesse here. We are currently buried in powder right now. We could not be having a better time. So it's Quincy time. I got a crib board in my backpack, I've got a speaker some snacks, bust those out later. Right now we just gotta relax. Oh, what, I have to piss, I didn't piss. Pee in one little hole and then just pack it in the snow. And it's like, it's not there. All right, in the matter of five minutes, we've created a fire in our Quincy. We made a chimney for our fire. It's a little smoky. It's a little smoky in here. <laughs> We're not gonna like pass out from, from, uh, Carbon monoxide poisoning. This might be like one of the coolest camping experiences ever. I think we built this thing. Crip? Yeah. I was tired before, but now I'm Not amped. I'm pumped. Do you have beers in your thing? I think I do. Let's beer? Some beers. Beer. Quick shout out to the Tyndall family and the Lipke family. Mm -hmm. They gave us a place to dry our clothes, to hang out, we got to boil their hot tub. Those guys rock. Thank you.
finished our game at crib. Smoking. Matson was the winner. Whatever. We are boarding at 9 a.m. So, we're gonna get some sleep. Look at this guy. <laughs> this, is, this is deadly. So sick. The sickest snow fort ever. All right, good night. So, we're finished our night in the Quincy. It was awesome. We're gonna test out this thing's durability. It's crazy. Don't fall or do. Cap is watching you. This is a slow chair, so I'm taking the shortcut. So, the day's over, the weekend's over, we reached the end of our whitefish adventure. It was a quick trip, but it was an awesome weekend. We had tons of fun. Bye bye whitefish for now. Peace. Tune in to ETA next time for another epic trip adventure. We're here in San Francisco, California. We're doing an urban adventure today.